Last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the Ginyu Force has arrived to planet Namek. In order to obtain the Dragon Balls for Lord Frieza, in order to wish for immortality. Later, Goku has also arrived to planet Namek, in order to clean up the mess. And since Frieza doesn't know how to use the Dragon Balls, he must find a way how to actually activate them. Will Frieza actually obtain immortality? Or will Goku finally defeat Frieza and save planet Namek? Find out in this episode. Hey, uh, Kakarot. Hmm? What is it, Vegeta? There's people watching us. Hmm? Oh, hey, it's me, Goku. And this is Vegeta. Um, you probably wonder where Jelly Nidia is right now. Um, he's in the toilet, so I'll, I guess we can start things off for you. So basically, we. Kakarot, what are you doing? Oh, what? Oh, hey! Oh, uh, hi, Jelly Nidia. Um, nothing. We were just, uh. Do Goku is okay. I know you're trying to start the video, but I'll, I'll, I'll handle things off for you. What is up, my homies? It's your boy, the Jelly Nidia, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, um. I don't know what cat I don't know what Goku and Vegeta were doing, so we'll just go ahead and start things off continuing on with the let's play. I sure would love to fight in the world tournament again. Huh. I'm nothing like I was back then. <laughs> I'm going to win. You know, I actually managed to beat Goku back then. What the <laughs> That's great dialogue right there. I like that that little bo that little bondage dialogue right there. That's actually kind of unique, like based on the characters you um, mix and match, or whatever. You've got some real guts, you know that. The cat was gonna make you pay for what you did, dearly. So this is the guy, huh? His power levels around five thousand. Just like we said. Makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake! Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000! 60,000? Saints don't have that much power?! Actually, they can. Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time! Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta, here I go! So he just left, just like that? Power. Can you let me power up? Dude, come on, let me power up. Okay, let me power up for real this time. Oh God, come on, man. All right, do this. Come out of here. Learn how to back off and let me handle things myself, Al. So I can't do nothing like these guys get on my nerves. There. Now I can, now I can handle one of them. Okay, power up. Alright. Captain. Come here. Jerk. Are, are you? No. No, you can't be. Are you? Are you a Super Saiyan? Vegeta said something about that too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean... You mean... The Legendary Warrior? No! This cannot be! Is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. Well, that's a lot coming so from you. Up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. Jace, take my scouter. What? What are you doing? <laughs> 
body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! Yep. We're screwed. <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain. Here's your skill. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> he seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, didn't they? And hurry. Those Earthlings need you. Uh, okay. I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. Ha! <laughs> Big mistake. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power, which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Hey, he said the thing. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Oh, it would be nice if I played as one of them. But then again... Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. They're just sitting there. They actually buried them in the ground. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Huh. We've got all of them now. 
Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Is it Paranga or Parunga? I guess it don't really matter. Right! Come forth, Shinron! And grant our wishes! Nope. Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does, does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Oh boy. Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Bulls. How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So... Did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. Yeah, I can't tell either. I think it's the hair. Okay, okay, okay. Obviously, we know what it is. I just want to be stupid, okay? Give me a break. That's a... Scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Finally, somebody figured it out. Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And you're... Krillin! Go on! That's not me! <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far! <laughs> That's correct! I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force! Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no! It can't be! That's... my dad? He swapped bodies! All this really complicates things. Go on. Trailin, I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. But as long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! That's still his body. You don't even know how to use it. You ain't doing it for it, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! We... When did you? Oh yeah, now Vegeta wants to join. Who the heck have you been? Don't be ridiculous! Ah, I got you, boy. No, 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 no. Back up, 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 back up. Back up as far as I can and power up. But I'm not. Oh my God! Let me power up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, I see how it is. No! I am one step closer to becoming a Super Saiyan! No, oh, you're full of crap, mate! Oh, you said it. <laughs> Come on. Stagger him. Hit him with a... Must be go! Now He's die. down. No! This can't be happening! Chase couldn't have been defeated so easily! You're next! Vegeta. Die! He's gonna do it! Change! 
Get in there, Goku. Get in there. I hope I make it. <laughs> Bastards. Ah, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Looks like I'm back to being me again. No, oh, that's something. What the hell just happened? What was that just now? That feels like my dad, all right. My dad, he's back in his own body. Damn it. This time, this time I'm taking Vegeta's body. Uh-oh. If he switches places with Vegeta, we're all done for. Not good. Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! Hey, yo, phrasing. Ooh, frog. P perfect. Change! <laughs> what just happened? Yes, I did it. <laughs> I turned him into a frog. <laughs> Dang. Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you on the other hand are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. Uh-huh. You, you made your big mistake there, Frieza. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> A little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. No, something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! No! I, the almighty Freezer, will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! No, he big mad. He big mad. This medical machine here, it should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Well, you gotta wear something. Whoa, this is crazy. It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Okay, so might as well go, go to Guru's place. Someone's on the move. It's Dinde. Krillin, go on. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it. 
This is perfect! Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry! Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. We gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Huh? S someone's coming this way. Th they're super fast. Huh? <laughs> it's Frieza! Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. R right! Takarapto popurunga uprito paro! They're glowing! And the sky! It's getting dark! Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth! Here we go. There he is, Parunga. You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, now state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Like a genie. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans! Bande Parura, Rutimararu, Fan Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchuro, Itash Kunchpa, Pontero, Rukche! I am unable to grant that wish. Darn it! I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. What? Uh, oh no! Then bring back Piccolo. Hmm. It seems they can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good. Okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours. Use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And, as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. You have to warp me to Namek. Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good. Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dinde. Ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Huya Kirigo! His cousins are wrong. Otaku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. <laughs> Kame! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Tarumopara Akororu, Stenonipuro, Hikoloru Magaka, Tamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but 
There's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a massive energy in the distance. Ugh, it must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others! Oh boy. Hurry up with that last witch. Make it whatever you want. I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here. But what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! You don't deserve it anyway. Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Well, since they can only permit one person at a time. He granted our wish? Then where is Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but but you didn't say where. Bruh. Did you want me to have him sent here? No, no, what are we supposed to do? <gasps> oh no. Uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! W wait! We get three wishes! So that means there's still one left. W what are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh, man. We're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinde. Grant Vegeta's wish. It ain't gonna work. I hate to admit it, but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes. Dragons disappeared! And the Dragon Balls, they're, they're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally died. Dang! What, what do you mean? What about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oh no. It's Frieza! Of course. Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale. You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! We're... we're doomed! What is his power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? 
We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising, and the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> you know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. <laughs> and your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. <laughs> I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on! Transform! Show us what you really look like, Frieza! Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat! Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form! It's insane! This dialogue is unnecessary. So much of it. It is freaking cool, though. <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps hey, you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. What? No way! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta! What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Damn you, Frieza! How about you? Oh, he did it like in the uncensored anime, but at least there's no blood, thank goodness. What have you done to him? Krillin! You owe to save him. Such Violence on fighting. Oh, that him. dialogue was unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I feel like I have to skip. I feel like I might have to shorten the episode down because of these long cutscenes. At the same time, I might as well make it long. Keep it long, or whatever. This is gonna be one of the only episodes that's gonna be really, really, really long. Like about an hour long. Like the Avengers episodes that I did back in the back in the past. How surprising. That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further! Oh, it's no use! Damn it! So much for that plan of ours! The energy from before is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. <clears throat> he looks just like me. Must be Namekian. So... You're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. You probably also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but you're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You... you might have actually been able to take on Frieza if you recombined with your other half. What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fused back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. But... I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. 
Then, then fuse with me. If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold, maybe more. What? Fuse me? Oh. There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. Your mind will still be your own. Quickly, place your hand on my body. Fine. I'll do it. Make Frieza suffer for what he did to our people. Oh, I'm planning on it. This... this is unreal. This power, it's unbelievably incredible. So... so this is what he was talking about. I'm on my way, Gohan. So normally this episode would end here, but it doesn't end here. This, this, so there's been too much going on. All this dialogue and everything. I might as well make this episode longer. Probably like an hour long almost. And it's already been getting on my nerves. So let's just continue on. Oh no. What's wrong, Vegeta? Are you not going to save him? Ah! It's not dead. Him? But he... What? How is that pathetic worm still alive? My attack should have been fatal! You won't be able to cheat death again once I've torn you into a million little pieces! Solar Flare! <laughs> My eyes! Now, Vegeta, attack him with all you got! Oh my god, Vegeta, you acting like a man. That that's sad, bro. Thank goodness you're still alive. Here, let me heal you. He, he had that kind of ability. What are you doing, Vegeta? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Namekian Runt had the ability to heal people? Because we didn't know either. If we had known, we would have had him heal Goku. You really surprised me there, Dende. Thanks. Good luck. His power has increased rather significantly. I suppose it's because he has the blood of a Saiyan. It might not be much, but it should be enough to tip the scales in our favor. Impossible! That little cretin was on the verge of death, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Something's coming! M Mr. Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Of all the people to show up, it had to be the freak we killed back on Earth. The Dragon Balls were used to bring back this dead weight? What a waste. Sorry to disappoint you, but let's make one thing clear. I'm coming after you next. Once I take care of Frieza, that is. So another Namekian worm has come to die. Back off. I fight alone. What? What? <laughs> it's your funeral. You have no idea what you're up against, but fine. Go ahead. Oh, we finna throw hands, hands. We finna throw hands, hands. Let's get it. No matter. It's of little consequence. He's still far from a worthy opponent. Oh, we finna get it now. We finna get it now for his. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Pummel him. Pummel him. Pummel him. Pummel him. Boy. Okay, okay, not bad. Let me show you the power of a true Namekian. Oh, they, I didn't get the block in time. Shoot! Darn it. There we go, got him. Special beam, consider this payback for all the Namekians you've killed! Why you? There we go. No way. Actually fighting on par with Frieza. No, he's doing better than that. 
Wow, I knew Mr. Piccolo could do it! Spoke too soon. <laughs> I must apologize for my attitude before. I've underestimated you, but I'm afraid you're still out of your league. Allow me to demonstrate my true power! Well then, guess I'll do the same. <laughs> it appears you don't fully grasp the danger you're in. Did you think what I've shown you was the full extent of my power? What? You simpleton. You're clearly unaware that I've undergone a transformation. Prepare yourself. You're about to experience dread like you've never felt before! Mr. Uh... Piccolo, I'm gonna fight too! You're kidding me! No! You're wasting your time! I need you to beat me within an inch of my life, right now! Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! I Look at it, do. for the wait. Shall we begin round two? Man, look at this! This, oh, uh, what's his face? Freaking Prada Purpose Aliens looking. <laughs> why, why does this porn always make you laugh? Like, look at his stupid long head. It looks so stupid. Oh my god. You look ridiculous, Frieza. You call this your third form? You look pathetic. Go oh! hard. Now! Here, here we go! Break up the end cannon! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh yes, he got me there! But not for long! Cause I'm the strongest Yumeki you'll ever know! Now you got- Oh man, I would've finished him off with a- Oh, Dang! Ah oh, man, why did he hit him one more time? Go on. <laughs> I want to finish him off with a special bean cannon. I've been perfect. Dang. Maybe you now realize just how powerful we Saiyans can become when pushed to our limits. What are you waiting for? I can't get a power boost if I harm myself. I need you to do it. With that little Namekian's healing ability, I can recover from whatever you do almost immediately. <laughs> I'd love to beat the snot out of you, believe me, but I can't. I mean, Goku's gonna be back any minute now. Kakarot isn't going to get stronger, he's a loser! Oh, and you're not? Oh! Now, while I could snuff the life out of you in my current form with the most minimal of efforts, I wonder, yes, I think I'll demonstrate to you just how truly terrifying my power is before I end your pitiful lives! <laughs> <laughs> Now's our chance! Hurry up and do it! <laughs> Good. This should work. Go on! You have to get out of here! Oh, right! What did you say? What in the hell do you mean you can't heal me? You killed so many of my people. I, I can't heal someone like you. Why, you insignificant little... I need to help the others. Stupid okay? idiot. Thanks a lot, kid. Krillin, why did you attack Vegeta? Don't you remember? Saiyans get stronger every time they survive a fight to the death. That's why Vegeta asked me to attack him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dende, look, I get it. I know why you don't want to heal Vegeta, but we're screwed if he can't fight. But... Just heal him. I'm not strong enough to take Frieza on my own. <sighs> What's going on? Is that Frieza? His transformation's complete. Dende, please! 
We need you to heal Vegeta. You did this to yourself, uh, Vegeta. I almost call him Frieza. God, my brain hurts today. There it is, the freeze that we all know and love and mostly hate. That's Frieza's true form? It's so small and compact, but it's intense. Guess it's true what they say. You can't judge a book by its cover. Still, I think I liked his other forms better. Sorry I couldn't help you guys out. I know you all went through a lot of trouble trying to wish me here. You're kidding me! You know, I couldn't help but notice that little Namekian had the ability to heal. I'm afraid I can't have any more of that. <laughs> well then, let's begin, shall we? I made you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you've felt before. His speed is incredible! So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose, not as I am now! Okay, I think it's best if I go ahead and continue on with the story. Sorry, I had to adjust the mic real quick. I do love how he still has the little blast effects from the within his armor because of uh, Krillin. Alright. It seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch, but I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta, but I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear, a Super Saiyan! Frieza's final form. <laughs> you haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done! I can see you! <laughs> well, I think I'll play with you after all. Alright, Vegeta, let's see what we can do since you think you're so powerful. I know I'm powerful! I'm the prince of all science! Don't underestimate me! Galagon! But what's wrong? Are you hurt? I don't believe this! Okay. This is the extent of my power! Unfortunately, in your case. Impossible! Th this can't be happening! I am a Super Saiyan! Go to hell, Frieza! I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. Again with the gentleness. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta 
had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. Ah. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. You just gotta let him pummel you like that, Fre uh, Vegeta. Goodness, I keep saying Freezer. Goodness, Wh why do I keep getting their names mixed up? Oh, oh! I'm overflowing with power. It's Thanks freaking time. Me out. Whoa! I better get going. Hang on, guys, I'm on my way. Here we go. Hmm. Sorry I'm late. I'll take things from here. Dad? Goku! It looks like I still have some trash to dispose of. Kakarot. Hmm. Kakarot. Oh, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. Countered one of my attacks. I'm impressed. <laughs> Frieza, I'd get serious if I were you. You're finally face to face with your worst nightmare uh, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> the, the legendary Saiyan warrior. The strongest fighter in the universe. <laughs> You're finished, Frieza. <laughs> You're finally going to get what you. Oh. Well. Did I not make myself clear before? I've grown tired of your pathetic jokes. Stop! Don't you see he can't fight back anymore? He's done. Just let him go. K Kakarot, you're just as soft as always. Perhaps you're not a Super Saiyan after all. <laughs> you idiot. Stop letting your emotions hold you back. Stop being so soft and you can finally do it. You can become a Super Saiyan. Kakarot, listen. Our own planet, planet Vegeta, wasn't destroyed by a meteor. It, it was Frieza. We, we Saiyans, we Saiyans were his enforcers. We followed his every order. Mm. Your parents, my father, the king, they, they were all murdered by that monster. I beg you, Kakarot. Please, please defeat Frieza. Please, I beg of you. He must die by saying hands. Dang. This is one of the only times I feel bad for Vegeta. I was wondering when he finally died. Vegeta. It must have been really difficult for a proud guy like you to beg me for help. I hated you at first, but I began to understand over time you were a proud Saiyan warrior. Just know this, 
I'll do what I can to carry on that pride of yours. Respect. Hey, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. And to avenge those you've brutally murdered. The Saiyans and the Namekians. I'm going to defeat you. F in the comments, everybody. F in the comments. We're just in the way. We need to get out of here. Go on. Come on, hurry. Please don't die, Dad. Make Frieza pay for what he did. Oh, it's go time. You're far stronger than I was. You have no chance of beating me. Maybe. But I won't know until I try. Uh. Really? Dang, Raver! I get you powerful, but dang, man! What? No response! We lost it! Watch out! Here it goes! You were after this! Boy! You know, I've grown bored of this. Perhaps it's time I end right here and now. Oh yeah? I don't think it's gonna be that easy for you. Give me power up. Die again, die today! Yeah! Ow. Okay, okay. Nice. Just love to come me huh? and a Kyle can. This has been fun. It's been quite some time since I've exerted myself this much. Man, I'm in trouble. If he's serious about the half power thing, then even the Kaioken times 10 isn't gonna be enough. I use time 20 though. I've been saying the entire time. I should be able to hold my own if I push it to times 20 though. Oh, now we do times 20, okay. My body might not be able to handle it, but I've gotta try. Kaboom! Of course, that wasn't enough. What's going on? It, it barely, it barely did a thing. My dad's energy, it's a lot weaker than it was before. I can't believe someone's actually that strong. Guess King Kai was right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we shouldn't have picked this fight with Frieza. Cuss you, Saiyan! Well, now, that actually hurt. Where has all your energy gone? 
What? Have you exhausted yourself already? <laughs> I can't watch anymore. I'm gonna help him! Wait, seems like Goku's got something in the works. <sighs> Goku, the legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, here we go. living on Namek, and all planets that can hear me. Lend me as much energy as you can. Give me the strength I need. What are you doing? Don't tell me. Is this another one of your pathetic attacks? What can you possibly accomplish by just standing there? <gasps> oh. He's made a spirit bomb? That huge? Frieza doesn't appear to know what's going on right now. I don't <laughs> understand why Goku doesn't just attack him. He's probably thinking that he needs more energy so that he can take Frieza down for good this time. Man, I wish this thing didn't take so long to get ready. I have to make sure he doesn't figure out what I'm doing. Come on! This is getting ridiculous. How much longer do you intend to keep that up? <laughs> Not sure. As long as I have to, I guess. <laughs> Say, uh, you're not in a hurry, are you? Ha! How's that funny? Yeah, mock me. I do not understand you Saiyans. Your kind has been a thorn in my side for as long as I can remember. Once I've destroyed that Saiyan child and this entire planet, the Saiyans will finally be no more. The legend of the Super Saiyan will remain just that, a legend. Stay here. No matter what happens, do not leave this spot. Oh boy. What is that? Is that some sort of ball of energy? You! It's no use. If I launch the spirit bomb at him right now, he's just gonna dodge it. Besides, it doesn't even have enough power to take Frieza down. You were planning a sneak attack this whole time. How pathetic! But all of your idiotic planning and effort has gone to waste. You're finished! There we go. Piccolo! Hurry up and finish that spirit bomb already. Thanks, Piccolo. You vile, insignificant pests! How dare you interfere in this? <laughs> so there are more of you, are there? <laughs> you certainly know how to test my limited patience. It ends now! I will reduce you and this entire planet to nothing but ashes! All right, it's done. Release it. Come on, come on. No, I, I will. Not be defeated.
Did it warp? You made it. Yeah. But where are my dad and Piccolo? They were right by the impact. Weren't they? You, you don't think that they... Hey, it's Goku and Piccolo we're talking about. They wouldn't go down that easy. Krillin. The energy's faint, but I feel it! Right, come on, let's go! Okay! Dad! Goku! You did it! <laughs> let's go home, you guys. What is it, Krillin? We totally forgot about Bulma! Don't scare me like that! <laughs> oh yeah, boom, I forgot about her. It can't be. It's oh god. Mr. Piccolo! You worms. I'm going to eradicate every last one of you. Oh no. Krillin! No! Let him go, Frieza! Oh no. <laughs> and now for the little brat. Uh oh. Oh, it's time. Play the theme. Nice! 
Glad to the whole five minute speech or three minutes. Entire planets, but you can't take down one single person. What are you? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? I'm the Saiyans come all the way from Earth to defeat you. I am the warrior you've heard of in legends. I am pure of heart and awakened by fury. That's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! There it is. <laughs> I stand corrected. I suppose the legends were true after all. I hate you! I hate you! It's over, Frieza. Is it now? I won't let it end this way. I would rather take my own life than be killed by scum like you! Fine by me. But the one that's going to die isn't me. It'll be you! I can survive in the vacuum of space. Let's find out if the same can be said for Saiyans! This planet will die! No! Frieza, you maniac! I must have restrained myself too much. But the core has been completely destroyed. In five minutes time, this planet will explode and become nothing more than debris floating through space. Five minutes, huh? Well, that's all the time I need. I'll avenge Krillin by defeating you. Then find my friends and get out of here. Defeat me? Impossible! You have given me no choice. It's time to show you. Prepare for my full power! Frieza, you know, the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. As a warrior, I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, you want to test out your full power too, don't you? Oh no, it's Swall Frieza. Whatever will I do? My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Goku's struggling. At this rate, he might not be able to make it off planet Namek before it explodes. No way! There must be something we can do. Wait, that's it? Yes, that should work! Guardian of Earth, Kami, can you hear me? Yes, King Kai, I can hear you. Will you be able to summon Shenron right away? I have a wish to make. Ah, oh, yes. I've already had Mr. Popo gather all of the Dragon Balls. We were planning to use them to revive those currently in your care. Right. Because Earth Dragon Balls can revive many people at once. But can they revive those who died naturally? I'm afraid those who died of natural causes cannot be brought back. But what about those whose lives were shortened as a result of an encounter with a villain? Hmm... I suppose such people could be revived, if only for the brief time that was taken from them. All right then, here's the wish. Ask Shenron to bring back all those that were killed by Frieza and his men. What? I'll explain. We don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. 
First, we'll use the Earth Dragon Balls to revive all those killed by Frieza. That should mean all the Mechians, including Grand Elder Guru, should be revived. We've only had two of the three wishes granted with the Namekian Dragon Balls. How very strange. With Grand Elder Guru back, we should still be able to make one last wish, right? With that last wish, we'll transport everyone on Namek other than Frieza to Earth. Oh, I get it! You've really thought this through, King Kai. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Now hurry! Planet Namek won't be around much longer! Oh, oh I see. I'll summon Shenron right away. Now, state your wish. I shall grant you any wish that you desire. about are you talking about Krillin don't you dare talk about Krillin oh we don't hit them off and now planet Namek is about to explode there should be one wish left with the Dragon Balls there I need you to summon Shenron for the last wish, ask him to send everyone there except Frieza to Earth. I understand, King Kai. I appreciate your concern. But wishes must be made directly, I'm afraid. I will contact whomever is closest to the Dragon Balls and tell them your wish. Wait! Don't make that wish! Listen to me. Ask him to leave both Frieza and me behind. Come on, ask him! Uh, you heard us, Goku? I, I understand what you're trying to do, but... Listen, King Kai. If you don't let me finish things with Frieza, I'm never going to forgive you! Oh! Oh! Fine, fine. I understand. If that's really what you want. Then, uh, my child, this is Guru. Grand Elder Guru? Please save your questions. I would like you to ask Porunga to grant one final wish. Then. Uh, Will you ask him to transport all those on Namek except for Frieza and the Saiyan Goku to Earth? Okay. Is something wrong? Do you not have a wish? Here... Here is our final wish! What? That's... The, the Dragon Balls! Ah, no, wait! Oh, Purunga, Frieza, Pipoto, Goku! 
Make me... Immortal! <laughs> no! Poparunga, Frieza, Pipoto, Goku! Poparito, Rom Rompa, Papipo, Paru! Understood. It will be done. However, all except these two will be sent to Earth. What? Well, there they go. On to Earth, my friends. And apparently Guru. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Boom, I forgot about her. Where am I? My children, this huh? is a planet called Earth. My time is once again at hand, I'm afraid. But before I leave this world once more, I wish to explain what has just happened. The battle against that fiend Frieza still continues back on our home planet. <laughs> Would you look at that? You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. It's just us now, Frieza. Me and you! Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well. You will suffer, Saiyan! Come on, come on. Whether I kill you or the destruction of this planet does, no peace. One thing is certain, you will die! Probably. You cannot hope to defeat me! Keep on the water. I don't know what to do with that game. I'm sorry, dude. I should have kept the super form, but still. This fight is over. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. You, you dare mock me? I will not lose! Get down! Get down! 
Well, he kind of deserved it. How can this be? You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cause you say it. Uh. I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I. Thank you. Please have mercy. Please have mercy. I thank you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? That was so iconic. I don't think I might record the DLCs. I might have to do them like off screen. I'll just record the main game and then just, yeah. survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away. This time, surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Except maybe and Bulma, I guess. Another 130 days had passed, and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. As in new Namek. Hey, it's me, Goku. What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? 
And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? You're not gonna get away with this, Frieza. Huh? Who are you? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The fight for the future against the android terror! You don't want to miss it! Oh boy! Four more episodes with this, I'm guessing. Emperor no more. A few days after the Namekians have left Earth. Goku's household. Spell of normality. If you can call it that. Gohan, how are your studies going? Uh, okay, I guess. You lost a lot of ground during your little excursion to Namek. We've got to get you caught up. Of course. Typical Chi Chi. Yeah, but I've been studying so much. I don't think I can cram anything else in. Oh, all right then. Fine. You can run outside for a breather, but make sure you don't take too long. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. I'll be back soon. Yes, soon. Understand? Okay, mission, making wishes with the Dragon Ball, so you just gotta find them and then... The timing throughout the time, the, the, the timing, whether which it can, can you can be granted changes throughout the story. Oh, okay. And you only and you only be able to make wishes if you make which is as you want. That okay. So intermissions is fine, but stories. Oh, okay. Your limitations and okay. So intermissions, I can just wish whatever I, as much as I want. That's a bit overpowering, don't you think? But in the stories, there's their own limitations, which is obvious. Neutral card check modes to be temporarily unavailable. And they'll only be available again every 20, mi every 20 minutes in re real world time. Ah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, Vegeta got that Batman shirt going on because he is the principal of Saiyans after all. Catch my guy, Prince Vegeta. Shout out to Prince Vegeta, by the way. I don't know if he's wa I don't know if he watched these videos though. I, I, unfortunately, I'm a small YouTuber. Cause name name one time a big YouTuber would actually watch a small YouTuber. Name one time there there would be a chance of that happening. But anyway, I think this is where we'll end things off for now. Not the whole Let's Play, but at least this particular part of the Let's Play. So I'm not gonna recap everything. So every a lot happened so far. So. Thank you so much for watching. Zap that like button and subscribe. Ignore that damn side button. Leave a comment below to you this video, this game, this entire Let's Play. Click on the notification bell, check out for my videos. If you can't wait for more, always check out my old ones. This is John and signing out. Peace out, my homies. Oh my god, this has been a long episode. One of my homies. <laughs>